Hello and welcome to the show. We are here today on Forza Horizon 4 with another team adventure. This one, all about the front wheel drive cars. We're going to be going racing with some A-class front wheel drives. And I have got an old favourite of mine, actually. I have got the Cooper Works Mini. I've used this before for something similar. I can't quite remember exactly what it was used in, but it went pretty well. Uh, it is decently powerful, pretty light. Uh, I've always liked the way this particular vehicle drives, so I'm hoping it is going to be good enough here. Of course, everybody with the same driveline, everyone is going to have the same say issues uh, there's going to be no advantages when it comes to the dirt and the like we're all going to be having the front wheels powered uh, the Volvo is having some blinking issues so we're gonna to have to watch out for that one quite a lot here at the moment blue team oh, have got a prelude leading the way and the preludes are pretty decent I believe the preludes for some reason are amazing on traction uh, on the dirt so we'd expect the preludes to be quite fast uh, on on the dirt um, but yeah we're kind of curious to see what might what might work uh, where and, and, and so on I said I know this mini is pretty good for an A-class car if we don't drive it into a wall on our own uh, now there will A-class gives us plenty of PI to play with a lot of these cars which means there will probably be some variation in terms of builds uh, while I am rally tires there might be some cars that will have gone full race to maximize their chances on the tarmac. This track here probably won't be the biggest one for race tired machines while there are certainly some nice places to make the most of a race tire car. Um, it is a lot, as it's a lot faster circuit. I guess perhaps the race tires for some of these higher speed corners might come into their own. Oh, don't bobble over there like a Muppet. Uh, we currently, while I lead the way, we haven't really got many uh, Red team rear gunners, and I've turned in way too soon. Although Lombard just fell all the way down the order, uh, I made an entire horrible mess of that corner, and that's going to put Glister alongside. Uh, will that car continue to outdrag me? That is the question. Oh, I wanted to try to go around the outside of it. Now it's Glister's turn to make a mess of that corner. Uh, there was a gap left on the inside, although I get big understeer mid turn for me. And Pega's come to join us. Now, this is good news. For us, the more we fight, in some regards, we can bring in Pega up into this fight against the Prelude. Oh, might have slightly turned into it without intending to in that one. Uh, we are going to have a little bit of a battle down towards turn one. We'll give it some space through there. Uh, we, are, we are very evenly matched, this group of cars. Um, we are going to eventually run out of road through these changes of direction. Now, I've got to be... I've got to be careful over here. In fact, you know what? Pega's got race tyres on that. <laughs> that focus turns so well through that corner. That thing has got to be on on them race tyres. We will let them fight. We need a win here, pretty much. Uh, and Pega has no straight line speed. That is the issue with the focus. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to try that. That's asking for trouble. Primarily, if I try to go around the outside of that car, I can't do it. I haven't got the grip to go around the outside of the Focus. So I'm better off letting it go, taking a normal line, and not losing a place to the Scirocco or the Volvo that is fighting. We currently are not winning, but it's very close in points. Meaning Pega can get a 1-2, that would be grand. Um, me and Glissa's car are very similar in terms of speed around here, uh, but we can't afford to lose a place to the Volvo, that I do believe is pretty damn fast, although that's busy fighting with the Scirocco. Uh, oh, we've lost a whole heap of points further down, it doesn't matter anymore. Um, Viper missed a checkpoint, and that will put us in trouble. Not sure quite what car that was, but uh, yeah, one missed one missed checkpoint, that will be game over for us. In fact, Impeg's not had a great run onto this back straight, although that might be the focus's lack of straight line speed in general. Uh, I'm going to find myself in that same predicament again where I can't go around the outside of the Ford 
Uh, so we're just going to have to let it go. Impega might have a monstrous dive at this final corner. The focus will have the grip to maybe make it work. I'd be worried about it not having the acceleration out the other side against the preload. We'll have to wait and see for the drag race towards the line. Whichever way it goes, it won't matter unless there's a screw up for blue team. We cannot score enough points here. Impega does. Uh, oh, I've got one more lap. Sorry, I don't know why I thought that was the final lap. Ignore me. Uh, <laughs> I mean, we still, it's the, still the same thing stands, uh, unless there is a monumental problem, unless a blue car misses a checkpoint. I don't think we can score enough points, and Pega's going to have to defend quite a lot through here, and the prelude is going to want that place back, but cannot match it through this corner. I am too far back now to really fight with them too. Uh, they will do their thing. We've got to worry. We've got to worry about the Scirocco, but I think that is too far back now. <laughs> Prelude is going to take the lead again. This time, though, the focus is much closer. I would expect. You know, I'd expect a similar dive. The Prelude might well be expecting it. Yeah, the Prelude goes very, very defensive uh, this time around. The focus could probably go around the outside, but it won't match it on the exit. The more they fight, it'll bring me towards this group, towards that lead battle, but I can't do anything. Uh, they're going <laughs> to swap pain. Uh, we've clawed back some points, actually, further down the order. Not enough. That time, that is the end of the race. That time we cross the line. I mean, the Mini continues to be pretty solid. Um, in fact, we get third and sixth with the Cooper Works. Just not quite enough points in the end. So, for our next race, we move on to the Highland Farm Scramble. A relatively fast off-road circuit. Unfortunately, of course, we've had a disconnection. Um doesn't really help matters. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, this will be a test for, of course, the vehicle's off-road ability. With these team adventures as ever, we have to use the same car throughout. And I'm hoping my Mini shouldn't be too bad. It seemed okay in terms of top speed. Of course, we do have the rally tyres. Um, it's good through the corners. I'm starting from the pole position here, which is even better. Uh, let's see what happens. Let's see what we can do. The fact we've got the Volvo Brigade behind us, uh, the pair of them. Oh, get. Well, that's like it going fairly well. I'm not quite sure where <laughs> one of our cars has gone. <laughs> Wandering around in all of that. Just me and Longbow will lead the way oh, back onto the dirt. Now, cold rear tyres, while not the biggest thing in Horizon, they are still a thing that you'll have to contend with for a little bit uh, on a front wheel drive vehicle. Uh, we have not got many points at the moment. Now, we saw the focus is clearly on tarmac uh, race tyres. It will not particularly enjoy life out here. I'm hoping we won't have too many cars on our team that are more specced towards the uh, tarmac side of things because it could, be, it could be a problem. It could be a problem for us. We are flying away currently at the front. Longbow's got into some trouble with the Volvo, which surprises me. I thought we were going to have some uh, more company from that. Uh, Impega has <laughs> fallen to the back, as has our 2CV. Uh, that is not having a great time. 2CV is a difficult type. They can be built very quickly. Um, they don't always work, and often I think it relies on uh, drive train swaps. I've built some mad 2CVs that kind of fish have worked. But, uh, yeah, they're always a little bit of a funny thing to get right. Points-wise, everything is going back in our favour, in fact. We've got the other Mini now up to second, so there is that. Uh, if we can keep this up, that would be pretty good. Uh, it turns out the Cooper Works is a very good car for the dirt. <laughs> Who would have thought? Who would have thought the Mini was the way to go? I'm actually surprised to see my car flying away such as this. Viper's got up to... Viper is in that fight. I'm actually sure what car Viper's in uh, back there. Ah, oh, the Mini got uh, sent a little wide through all of that, and that's now dropped back to four. Hopefully there can be some recovery. A Mini, at least two Minis on the podium would be helpful. In fact, I say required, not quite. We can get away with the points exactly as they are now, but that's uh, risky shall we say. We don't really want Risky in the grand scheme of things. <laughs> less, less risk the better. Viper's now up to second. Uh, oh, no, he's 
this chopping and changing. The battle for second is a lot more interesting than my current race. This is what I say. This is one of the downsides. You build a very, very quick car, or in my case, end up having a car that is very well suited to this track. And a good grid spot means we just kind of wander away at the front, and there's not necessarily all that much that uh, cars behind are able to able, I say able to do. Uh, my car's working better on the dirt. This is a good track for me. Uh, we have now got the whole podium wrapped up, which is nice. The, I mean, the concern, of course, is in this team adventure there are two dirt events. There are three tarmac events. We might have the best cars off-road, but the best off-road cars, you know, if you're only good off-road, you can't win a team adventure. Uh, this, points-wise, is a mess. We have three very good off-road cars and apparently three not very good off-road cars. Now, a one, two, three will win us this. Doesn't matter what happens elsewhere. A one, two, three will give us a victory. However, it has to be a one, two, three. No, maybe. It, oh, we will. It has to be a one, two, three if we have three cars at the back. If we don't have three cars at the back, then a different order can go on. It's a. I mean, the fight for eighth, third might just may well decide this. Um, unfortunately. Unfortunately, it is yeah not something that we are going to uh, to see. Viper's car is I think quicker than mine. Uh, I think that's an escort actually uh, behind in second. I did have a big wobble at the start of this lap, which has not helped matters. That thing is absolutely rapid around here. Uh, that has really worked its way up through the order. Yeah, this lap was not a great lap from me. Viper has very much closed in, but uh, yeah, oh, it's going to be really close. This is going to be really, really close. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, we can do it. We've got the one, two, three. I don't think it matters now which way. In fact, it doesn't. They can't score enough points to beat us with that one, two, three. It's a good thing we had three good off-road cars because otherwise that would not have worked. So we move next to a rather different track again. This is the Prince's Street Garden Circuit. It is twisty, it is nasty, it will test the handling of your cars. Those on race tyres, yeah, they're going to like it here. The lack of top speed, for example, for our focus, probably, probably won't matter too much around here. Yes, there is a relatively, let's say, a longish start-finish straight. Um, if you are completely and utterly underpowered, you might have trouble, uh, but yeah, this is you, you want handling for some of the very, very twisty sections around here. Uh, the mini, I suspect, will be half decent. Uh, it won't, it won't win this race, I don't think. Something with race tyres, something. Uh, oh god, I got on the power. I got on the power a little too soon. Ah, oh, don't tell me our other minis missed a checkpoint. I think it has. Well, this race has gone cataclysmically badly so far. Uh, yeah, uh, this is, is going to be this is going to be problems. This is going to be problems for us. Uh, we are probably going to need another one. Uh, I don't know if a one, two, three is actually going to be enough in this one anymore. With the uh, uh, disconnection on, no, it should work because I don't think we got extra points. No, I don't think we were getting the points for the disconnected car. No, we weren't. So, yeah, we would have to get a 1, 2, 3 in this one. Now, is my Mini good? Yeah. Is it faster than the Prelude around here? I don't know. I think I'm the fastest of the Minis. I think I'm quicker than the Scirocco at this track. I'm fairly sure the uh, Focus is as well. But, uh, oh, the Focus got the checkpoint. No, it didn't. Okay, we're done. <laughs> Impega saw a gap and had to try and go for it, but it was a gamble. It was a huge, huge gamble, and in the end that didn't pay off. I mean, I'm now the highest placed uh, red team car, which, while I mean I'm glad that's me, is not really an ideal situation. Us having had two cars miss checkpoints early on is a problem, you know, that's a difficulty. Uh, oh, go on through Ford. Uh, we're going to have to battle with a state car. Yeah, this has not gone our way. Uh, this has not gone our way at all. We can carry that speed on the outside. Carry a lot of momentum 
through there. Uh, and that will, that will put us back up to fourth. Oh, I've gone too deep to turn one. I was half expecting the Escort. Yeah, the Escort will draw alongside. This is now not really helping matters. Uh, <laughs> it's just fight amongst yourselves. And let's face it, this one's gone. This one is not going our way. Uh, we've had too bad of a start. Oh, Speedy's found all the street furniture. Uh, that is going to put me up onto the podium. Thing is, I'm only getting 300 points. Even for being on the podium, that's only 300 points for me. Um, Speed Beast in fifth gets 500. It's yeah, the way these things, the way the way the scoring for this works, uh, especially if there's someone disconnected. But sometimes it's basically done on how many of the opposition team cars you are ahead of, and that means for me in third, I'm getting less points than the car in fifth because blue team are very much dominating this I'd be curious to know lap times as I often say for the other cars uh, just because I'd like to know how competitive the Mini was here we had a, we had a very very messy start which meant uh, we couldn't really do much uh, do much more uh, with two of our fastest cars missing checkpoints on the first lap we're always going to be in trouble really uh, I mean Viper in 6th is earning 100 points and that's it <laughs> that's that's not ideal. It doesn't help that uh, a couple of our cars do not seem to be working all that well. But I don't think there's much I can do on this final lap other than not miss a checkpoint. I think I'm pretty close to the Scirocco in terms of lap pace. We might gain our lap speed in slightly different ways. But I think, just judging by the sort of visual gap between our cars, it's not really increasing or changing. Um, I would say that, yeah, we're probably pretty similar in terms of lap speed. I would have to have an absolutely blinding lap here if I was going to want to uh, say if I want to find a way past. Really, Kieran would have to have a problem. Street furniture or a mistake is what it would take. And as long as you don't run wide out of this corner, you're probably not going to get street furnitured. Um, I mean, a missed checkpoint from a car ahead would be appreciated, but <laughs> even a missed checkpoint from both of them, even if I win this race and they fall back, I don't know if that would be enough points uh, to go our way. If he does it, there we go through the next corner. We have had a very good final lap here. And there was some street furniture for Kieran, but as much as we may have closed here, it won't matter. It's nowhere near enough. I mean, the car worked pretty well. It's At the end of the day, it's another podium. So far, three races and three podiums is not too shabby whatsoever. But Blue Team will take two round victories. So, we head to Ambleside next, the Ambleside Scramble, where I'm hoping the Mini will once again work pretty well. Ah, oh, we have a nice spot on the grid. Uh, that's that's helpful, and I say unfortunately, the car ahead of me is on race tyres. Pretty sure Gliska's car's on race tyres as well. So, at least two of the top four aren't going to be very fast. I'm uh, just not really going to even get going. Thankfully, ghost, ghost, ghostly mode will mean we can cheese our way through that a little bit. I will have to battle with the other mini, uh, I would expect. Uh, right, we are off and underway. What is it? The Escort has immense traction. <laughs> the Escort has absolutely fantastic launch off of the off of the line. I get a little bit too much uh, oversteer through there. We get the back end excited. Now, let's see, can we chase down the other Mini, and if so, will we have the pace to run away from the Escort? I don't know how the Escort has got so much traction in that. I can't imagine it's got massively different sized tyres. To me, I can't imagine... I can't have more downforce, I don't know if that would do enough to make all of that... Uh, all of that different. I mean, this team eventually was locked to front-wheel drive, like... <laughs> No way any shenanigans could go on with that. We're all on the rally tyres. Uh, Points-wise, this is important. At the end of the day, if we don't win this, blue team will take a victory. Uh, so we have got to win this adventure. Now, it does look like uh, not only A, has Forza managed to count correctly and put people back on the right teams, but B, it looks like our rally brigade that were quick previous are trying to work their way through the order in this one. I don't know if my Mini's as good at this track as it is at the other one. I think my Mini preferred the higher speed dirt to 
this one it is a little bit more of a handful. Now, if one of the cars behind is quicker, I will want to release them. I do not want to hold up a teammate around this track because we need to win. In fact, at the moment, points aren't looking good. But I think at the moment the points are we need a 1, 2, 3 or we're probably done for. Um, I'm not sure we have that kind of pace. Oh, we definitely don't have that kind of pace. Uh, I, was being, I, was, I was trying I think to be sneaky. I was pushing it too hard. I was pushing it too hard because I don't think I had the speed of the of the lead car. Um, and there we go. I might be able to recoup myself back to fourth. That's probably what I'm going to have to do in these final couple of laps. Um, so, you know, there's there's that. Uh, what the hell? I actually know what tyres that prelude is on. I, I presume it can't be rally because if it was, it'd be a lot faster. So it's doing quite a good job if it isn't on rallies, at least. I guess it could no, I must be racing. <laughs> I would, I would expect. I mean, we've got so much more grip, but I have not quite got the time. I don't think to perhaps spoil the party here. I will should get Gliska if I can. Oh, I wanted to get underneath it to really get underneath. Uh, if we're going to get any more cars, <laughs> the Chris lines. Um, there, there is a danger with going for that line. <laughs> There is a very big danger if you want to try and go for the jump behind the tree line. I had no input in that one. I did not push the preload. The preload was taking that line on its own and misjudged it. And if you do that, there is a very good risk. A very good risk, a very good chance, or there is a chance that you will end up visiting the tree. I don't actually know if it's I don't know if it saves you all that much time. And with the Uh, dangers, shall we say, of uh, jumping behind the tree, as Gliska just very helpfully demonstrated, I don't do it. I don't feel it's worth it, particularly. Um, so, there we have it. Uh, <laughs> I balls that up. I don't think my mistake actually cost us in the end. Um, I have to say, it cost us some points. However... Uh, Scotty won. Well done, Scotty. I didn't actually notice that until the end. The Battle of the Minis, I miss out on a podium, which is slightly gutting because we were on for a pretty good run of podiums. But uh, well done, Scotty, for taking a victory in that one. Uh, yeah, I goofed. Blue team have won the adventure. We've got one more round for honour. So we're going to finish off at the Hollywood Park circuit. Now this is... I always say it, this is a nasty track. This is a, a nasty track to build cars for. It is fast. Top speed is kind of important in some ways around here, but there's a catch. Well, yes, it is very quick indeed. There's a lot of medium speed corners. You need grip. I don't know whether the focus is actually going to work around here. <laughs> if you don't have enough speed, you kind of struggle. But the focus has got so much grip for the medium speed corners, it might be able to maintain its speed a lot better than the rest of us. I'll be curious. I think the Mini, again, I think this will be a track the car's okay at. I think... This should be top half of the field kind of a car. Uh, this this Mini is actually probably one of my better go-to kind of front-wheel drive A-class cars. I mean, it's just it kind of one of those cars it works. It does, it does what it needs to to score plenty of points. And perhaps more importantly in some ways, it'll score plenty of points. And when it gets to the right track, it's very dominant. When it gets the right track, it's really very, very quick. So, for a team adventure, it's great. Uh, <laughs> however, occasionally let down by the driver uh, doing something goofy. This is busy. Uh, oh, some lag as well from the Volvo. That's not fun to have to deal with. Oh, I don't know if we're three wide. We might be three wide. Um, I don't quite know. <laughs> I had a good run on the prelude. Oh, Blinky Volvo. I've almost got to treat the Volvo as not being there because I don't know when it's going to be there or when it's not going to be there. Unfortunately, that Volvo, I can't. That, that Volvo is there. Um, now, let's look at top speeds. Who has got the top speed? I would 
Uh, so I just maybe be faster than the Volvo. It might not be. The Volvo... Does the Volvo have aero? Not sure. The Volvo is quicker than me. That, uh, I'm glad it's going ghosting, because that thing could kill us all uh, with the lag that's going on. Uh, right. Let's bounce our way through there. Um, now, I thought my car might work here. I'm struggling. And at the moment, it's me that's kind of holding our team back. If I can get some more points... That would be really good for Red... I apologise, Longbow, there's a little bit of a lean on you there. I did not quite intend on as, uh, as much of a lean as there actually was. We've actually got one, two, three going on. Viper's Escort is immensely fast at these tracks. The tracks with the kind of longer straights, that thing has got some immense top end going. I don't know how much power. It must have a lot. Because uh, that was very quick at the dirt, uh, the fast dirt circuit. Uh, we're up some more positions here, which is nice. This is a bit of a turn up for the books in some ways. I wasn't sure this track was going to suit our cars. Uh, but it does seem to be going pretty well. Uh, there's a lot of blue team fighting each other over fourth. Uh, if they can all sort themselves out, then that is that is great. Um, I am going to... Oh, I'm going to hold on for dear life here and hope we can score some good points. I've just seen Scotty get passed by everybody down the straight. So Scotty's mini is different to mine. That's even more handling based. I thought mine was full handling build, I'll be honest. Apparently I sacrificed something to give mine more straight line speed than the other minis. Because, it, again, it's, it's got about 40 more horsepower than Speed Beast's uh, mini. I don't quite know how I've managed that. Cause it's still £2,100, so it's really bloody light, this car. Uh, Gliska has got up to the oh, that third spot. Now, we're leading slightly. Eccentric will pass Scotty down the start-finish straight. Uh, really... I need to find a way past Eccentric's Prelude. Uh, this is a ta I say it's a tactical game. No, it's not a tactical game. It's a you drive as fast as you bloody can and get as high a position. But in the grand scheme of figuring out the points, which is kind of what the Team Adventures are all about, uh, yeah, if we want to win this, I need to give the Prelude trouble. Now, if I can give the Prelude trouble, stop it attacking Scotty as well, that would be helpful, but the green mini is a sitting duck down this straight. Mine's also not great, but... Yeah, there's more of a sitting duck. Those preludes are slippery buggers. Uh, off it goes to the fifth position. Now, will Scotty let me go past to go chasing? And the thing is, that thing's so good through the corner. Scotty doesn't want to get stuck behind me through the corners. I don't want to get uh, stuck tangling with our mini and costing us points as well. Uh, that's going to have a dive at the prelude that kind of moves across a little bit late. Won't matter. Prelude can't carry the corner speed that the mini brigade can here. Now... What I might be able to do, teamwork-wise here, is if I can slow down the preload, basically. If I can... Oh, Kieran missed a checkpoint! Somewhere through that section, Kieran missed the checkpoint. That has uh, given us much more leeway now. That has given us much more leeway. Uh, we're all doing it today. I swear we've got worse for missing checkpoints. Group at the front is all closing up as well. Uh, Viper's Ford has fallen... Uh, back to second. At the moment we've got Ford 1-2, uh, but that might be under threat from the preload. Yeah, and Pegas Ford is quick here. It's obviously just fast enough in a straight not to be a terrible sitting duck and immense through the high speed sections. Here we go. Do I... <laughs> now, let's not fight each other out of a position here. Let's not screw over... I want fourth? Of course I do. So will Scotty. But let's not race each other so hard that we let eccentric through okay that's that's the deal i that's i say that's the deal that's how i will work in a team adventure uh, you drive well, i drive team adventures differently to how i would drive a oh how i would drive an individual race you know i will work for the team and if that means oh moving over to let a teammate through i'm absolutely going to do it in this case i think we are far enough away from Longbow and Eccentric, not to... Oh, <laughs> this is a great little battle of the minis. Can I get back underneath Scotty? I can do, but we've got to go the long way around here, and Scotty's mini is better than mine at these corners. I'm going to have to yield through there. I can't make that stick. I don't know if I have to, though. All I have to have done is slowed Scotty down enough that as we come out of the final corner, here we go. We've just got to outrun Scotty to the finish line now, and I know that car has no answer for me down here. We will... <laughs> get ahead for four. That was a great final lap. That's some properly good battling going on right there. Nice, Nicely done. 
Scotty. Red team, well done. That last track really worked for us. That last track really, really worked for us. Shame some of the other ones didn't quite in the end. Whew. And Pega takes victory. It's a Ford 1 2. Uh, I could only manage three out of five podiums in the end. A missed checkpoint did me out of one. There, perhaps not quite fast enough. But Cooper Works Mini continues to be a nice car. A very nice car. That, though, is going to be it for this video. As ever, if you'd like to take part in the next one of these, you can sign up via our forums. There'll be a link in the description of this. Find the Fowl Race versus the Community section, and you can sign up in there. That, though, is going to be it from me. Thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, a goodbye.